In this video, we'll be doing the cutouts for these two openings. The cutouts will be for sliding glass doors and will both be installed on the third container of our build. In our design, the door frames double as reinforcements for the large openings. When a significant amount of paneling is cut out of a container, it needs to be reinforced depending on the setup of the overall design. Since we will be doing three levels plus a rooftop deck, our design requires quite a bit of reinforcing to handle the vertical loads. We cut out the end panels first and installed the vertical part of the reinforcements to prevent the container from bowing too much. After a long day of grand weld paint repeat, there is a mandatory dance session to celebrate the progress. After the two vertical reinforcements were welded in, we added the horizontal tubing along the top. Got the first opening on the third container complete. That will be the frame for a sliding glass door. This one as well over here, but we haven't finished it yet. Little by little. Once the tubing was level and ready to be installed, I MIG welded it into place. First cutout on the third container is complete. Second panel on the third container complete. We repeated all these same steps for the next cutout.
getting everything ready to complete the second opening on the third container. I feel like I'm living out my twilight dreams when it's super foggy. It's so beautiful and it's one of my favorite parts about living here. After we cleaned the slag off the welds and the reinforcements, we applied the first layer of paint, which is a marine grade epoxy primer. We will eventually apply the marine grade top coat, but first we are going to build a small cantilever balcony off of each opening, so we will try it and paint everything all at the same time, when both are complete. <laughs> 